The Colt Limited Edition Series 701911 is more than just a handgun. It's a piece of American history rooted in the legacy of one of the most iconic firearms ever made. The Model 1911 has long been revered for its performance, rugged reliability, and elegant simplicity, gaining legendary status in military, law enforcement, and civilian circles alike. In this documentary, we'll explore the background, design elements, and features of the Colt Limited Edition Series 70 with a personal touch from my own modifications. The Colt 1911 is one of the most influential handguns in history, designed by John Moses Browning and adopted by the U.S. military in 1911. Chambered in 45 ACP, this semi-automatic pistol served as the standard sidearm for U.S. forces for over seven decades, witnessing use in World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Its robust, straightforward design and powerful caliber made it an ideal choice for battlefield conditions, earning it respect and admiration among American soldiers. In the 1970s, Colt introduced the Series 70, a refined version of the classic 1911 designed for the civilian and law enforcement markets. This line featured an improved firing system with a Calais-style bushing and an accurate barrel setup appealing to shooters who wanted a high-performing version of the traditional 1911. The Series 70 became synonymous with precision, reliability, and craftsmanship, establishing a new benchmark for Colt's line of 1911 pistols. Colt's limited edition Series 70 was designed as a modern tribute to the original Series 70, maintaining the gun's vintage aesthetics while incorporating improved manufacturing techniques. This model reflects Colt's dedication to honoring the 1911 storied past with careful attention to detail that appeals to both collectors and shooting enthusiasts. The limited edition Series 70 stands out for its blued finish that recalls Colt's historic bluing process. This finish adds an aesthetic depth to the firearm, capturing light and highlighting the contours of the frame and slide. Unlike modern coatings, this bluing is an art form in itself achieved through a meticulous process that gives the pistol a distinctive appearance. The limited edition Series 70 features a full-size government frame with a 5-inch barrel, true to the original 1911 design. This full-size frame provides stability and balance, giving the gun a substantial feel in the hand that's well-suited for target shooting and defensive use alike. Its construction is all steel, adding to the gun's heft and contributing to recoil management, a feature appreciated by shooters looking for both precision and power. The limited edition Series 70 is almost true to the classic 1911 design with minimal embellishments. Its slide and frame are kept clean, with only modest roll marks to indicate the model. The limited edition designation is subtly engraved on the right side, while the left side bears the iconic Colt roll marks. The simplicity of these engravings pays homage to the original design philosophy of the 1911 where function was prioritized over ornamentation. The sights on the limited edition are Novak, which are different from the original military sights on early 1911s. While not as high-tech as fiber optic or tritium night sights, these Novak sights work fine and they look great. One of the most defining aspects of any 1911 is its grips, and the limited edition Series 70 traditionally comes with standard wooden grips. While these wooden grips are undeniably elegant and add to the pistol's classic appeal, I opted to swap them out for G10 grips. G10, a fiberglass-based laminate, offers durability and a textured surface that improves handling and control, especially in situations where grip security is essential. The G10 grips add a modern touch to the 1911, enhancing both aesthetics and functionality. G10's material properties make it resistant to moisture and extreme temperatures, making it a practical choice for a range of environments. The enhanced texture allows for a more secure hold, particularly during rapid fire, making the 1911 even more adaptable to contemporary shooting needs. This customization gives the pistol a unique character, balancing the traditional appeal of the 1911 with modern ergonomics. I'll leave an Amazon link to some nice G10 grips below if you're interested. They're not very expensive. The blued finish on the limited edition government model is one of its most striking features. This bluing process dates back to Colt's classic manufacturing techniques, 
The blue finish is a tribute to Colt's early 20th century craftsmanship, recalling an era when gun making was as much about artistry as functionality. This finish does more than add aesthetic appeal. It also acts as a protective layer, helping to prevent corrosion and maintain the firearm's integrity. However, the blued finish requires more care and attention than modern coatings, as it is more susceptible to wear and scratches. For collectors and enthusiasts who appreciate the artistry behind Colt's heritage finishes, maintaining the polish and condition of a blued firearm is a rewarding aspect of ownership. One key feature of the Series 70 design is its lack of a firing pin block, differentiating it from Colt's Series 80 models. The Series 80 introduced a firing pin safety that prevents the firing pin from moving unless the trigger is fully depressed. A safety measure aimed at preventing accidental discharge if the gun is dropped. The Series 70, however, adheres to the simpler original firing system, which many purists believe allows for a smoother trigger pull and a crisper break. Without the firing pin block, the Series 70 trigger is often praised for its clean, consistent feel making it popular among enthusiasts and competition shooters who prioritize trigger precision. The absence of additional safety mechanisms also means fewer moving parts, which contributes to the Series 70's reliability and longevity. For those who value the classic operation of a 1911, this firing system remains one of the pistol's key selling points. The trigger on the limited edition Series 70 is known for its smooth, predictable action. It typically breaks at around five pounds offering a clean pull with minimal creep. The short, crisp trigger reset allows for fast follow-up shots, a feature highly regarded in competitive shooting circles and valued by enthusiasts who prioritize precision. This trigger feel is one of the key reasons shooters gravitate toward the Series 70 models. Colt's craftsmanship shines through in the simplicity and reliability of the trigger, which performs consistently with each pull. For those who appreciate a trigger that feels like an extension of the shooter's hand, the limited edition government model does not disappoint. In terms of handling, the limited edition delivers the weight and balance that 1911 enthusiasts expect. The all-steel construction gives it a solid feel, absorbing much of the 45 ACP recoil and making it a steady shooter. The Novak sights are simple yet effective, allowing shooters to line up their shots without distraction. The combination of the pistol's weight, grip ergonomics, and trigger makes it an exceptionally comfortable firearm to shoot. The 1911's recoil is manageable, and its natural point of aim makes target acquisition almost intuitive. For shooters who value accuracy and control, the limited edition offers a shooting experience that remains true to the original 1911's purpose. Due to the blued finish, maintaining the limited edition requires a bit more care than modern firearms with Cerakote or nitride coatings. Regular cleaning and oiling are essential to prevent corrosion and preserve the gun's finish. Avoiding abrasive cleaning tools or harsh chemicals will help maintain the integrity of the bluing, keeping the gun looking its best over time. Those who choose this model often see this maintenance as part of the experience. For owners, Maintaining the blued finish and ensuring the pistol's longevity becomes a matter of pride, knowing that their efforts contribute to preserving a piece of history. While the limited edition government model is certainly a functional firearm, its craftsmanship and aesthetic qualities make it a coveted item for collectors. This model carries not only Colt's historical legacy, but also embodies the precision engineering that has made the 1911 a timeless firearm. For those who see firearms as more than just tools, the limited edition represents a piece of American gunmaking history. It brings together Colt's heritage, a classic design, and modern manufacturing techniques, making it both a collector's piece and a reliable shooter. The Colt limited edition government model remains a striking example of Colt's commitment to quality and tradition. For enthusiasts, it's a pistol that embodies the essence of the 1911, reliable, accurate, and crafted with pride. Whether admired as a collectible or enjoyed on the range, this pistol upholds the legacy of the Colt 1911, proving that classic designs continue to hold relevance in the modern era. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more firearms documentaries like this, subscribe to the Skullcrush channel and be sure to visit Skullcrush.com.